First Lady Melania Trump is learning about a painful part of America's history on her first full day in Africa. This morning, she toured a castle that housed slaves awaiting transport across the Atlantic. Mrs. Trump said she will never forget the visit, visit to the island of Ghana. This is her first solo foreign trip as First Lady, and it will take her to four African countries. Deborah Pata is following the tour from Johannesburg, South Africa. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. Melania Trump's Four Nation tour to Africa follows the traditional path of a goodwill gesture by the First Lady. But in the country she is visiting, many people are saying she will have to overcome the baggage of her husband's belittling comments about the continent earlier this year. Melania Trump arrived on her outreach to Africa as part of her Be Best campaign. She was welcomed in colorful style and greeted by Ghana's First Lady, Rebecca Akofu Ado. Africa is well-traveled terrain for U.S. First Ladies. Girls who are not being educated. Michelle Obama focused on empowering young girls through leadership and education. <laughs> Hillary Clinton highlighted U.S. support for African democracy. Educated women. And Laura Bush made many trips to the continent in support of her HIV and AIDS projects. Laura Bush's former chief of staff, Anita McBride, said often they were more popular than their husbands when traveling abroad. Well, this is a perfect role for a First Lady of the United States to really be a softening tone or a gentler uh, uh, tone and, and to build bridges. Mending those bridges might well be the unspoken subtext of Melania Trump's African tour. As well as her husband's disparaging remarks about the region, many of her planned events highlight programs funded by U.S. aid, even though the Trump administration has proposed cuts to the organization's budget. It may appear to be at odds with the president's uh, overall policies, um, but it's important that she try and, um, and do what she can to sort of change that impression as much as she can. There are still more opportunities for the First Lady to repair the relationship with Africa, with stops ahead in Malawi, Kenya and Egypt. John? Deborah Pata in Johannesburg, thanks.